A supplicant asked for a punishment bound to happen. A petitioner has requested for the chastisement of God which will come anyhow. To the disbelievers, of it there is no preventer. For the disbelievers, there is none who can avert this chastisement from coming. Now, what is the meaning of these two ayat? There's quite a difference among the interpreters that who is referred to here, who has requested for hasab. Generally, the Mufassirin have said that it was a kafir, disbeliever, a Bushrik of Bakka, namely Hazr bin Nasr bin Haris. Nasr bin Haris. He had prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it has been mentioned in Surah Al-Anfal. Allahumma in kana haza huwa al-haqqa min indika fa'amtir alayna hijaratan min as-sama. Oh Allah, if it is true what Muhammad is saying, and if his claim that he is the messenger sent by you is true, then send on us a rain of stones. This was actually to show to their people, the common people, that we really don't believe that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Had we any idea that there is a possibility of Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, could we pray for this? That the Allah's, you, could we pray to Allah that you should send upon us a rain of stones? So, this is one interpretation. But the other interpretation is, that it was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who requested the hastening of the chastisement for the people. I had this idea, but now I have, and I can be very confidently saying this, because Shah Abdul Qadir, rahimahullah, in his famous Muzih al-Quran, he has also expressed this opinion. This was the request from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. O oh Allah, don't give them more respite. Now the matter should be settled. And we have it. Wala tajal alayhim. Don't be in a haste about them. So give them some respite. Fama hilhum. So this is in the same way. And because now you the pair now of surahs, al maharij the second surah of this pair is surah al Nuh. And we know, Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu wa salam, how he prayed for the chastisement and azab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So keeping these two surahs, that they are together in, in Quran, it also supports the view that here the reference is to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A petitioner has requested that the chastisement that has to come anyhow, let it come early. But when it comes, none will be able to avert it from the disbelievers. من الله ذي المعارج. It is from Allah, owner of the ways of ascent. من الله ذي المعارج. And it will come from Allah, who is the Lord of the stairways of the ascent. Ascent to the heavens. All these ascents, you know, they are owned and controlled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة. The angels and the spirit will ascend to him during a day the extent of which is fifty thousand years. تعرج الملائكة والروح إليه في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة. The ruh, the ruh, that is. Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam and the angels they ascend to him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
in a day which is equal to 50,000 years. This ayah is definitely from Ayatul Mutashabihat. We can't say what it means. Mostly people think that this is the day of resurrection, the day of Qiyamah. We, are, we shall have it in Surah Al-Muzammil. Yawman yajalul vildana shiba. So that is so long a day, 50,000 years of our reckoning and accounting. But my view is, Wallahu alam, that actually it means that as far as the angels and Jibreel and Ruh, also the arwah of human beings are concerned, they need no time whatsoever. In alam e amr I have said many a times, this time factor doesn't exist. The same instant Jibreel can be here and the same instant he can be on the arsh. There is no time. But if a thing which moves here in your material world with the highest possible speed that you can imagine, this distance is as much that the, according to the material world, a thing will take 50,000 years to cover this distance. This is, in my opinion, the meaning of this ayah. And Allah knows the best. So be patient with gracious patience. Fasbir sabran jameela. So, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and they were patiently. Fasbir sabran jameela. With the patience of beautiful contentment. Sabri jameel. One sabr is that you have to take it anyhow, although you are resenting from within. And the other is okay. If my Lord wishes this, okay. I am also pleased. I am happy. First way, Sabran Jabila. Don't make haste. We want to give them respite. So you also please wait. First way, Sabran Jabila. Indeed, they see it as distant. These people, they see that this chastisement or this last day, this day of resurrection or the Asa, it's very, very far away. But we see it as near. And we see it, it's very near. They think that it's very far off. But surely we see it, it's very near. يَوْمَ تَكُونُ السَّمَاءُ كَالْمُهْلِ On the day, the sky will be like murky oil. يَوْمَ تَكُونُ السَّمَاءُ كَالْمُهْلِ Now, the scenery, scenario of that day. يَوْمَ تَكُونُ السَّمَاءُ كَالْمُهْلِ The day when the heavens shall be looking as a molten brass. وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعِهْنِ and the mountains will be like wool. And the mountains shall be as flakes of dyed wool. And no friend will ask anything of a friend. And no friend will be taking care of any of his friends. Nafsi, nafsi. Everybody will be thinking of his own soul. Somehow I should be saved. Nobody will ask anybody else. They will be shown each other. The criminal will wish that he could be ransomed from the punishment of that day by his children. You must surround them. They will made to. They will be made to see one another. They will be seeing. He is my friend, but he is not caring for me. Where is my father? But he is not caring for me. Where is my my son or brother? He is not caring for me. You must surround them. They will be made to see each other. Yamadul mujrimu. The guilty will like and wish. La yaftadi min azabi yau maizin. They would like to be ransomed from the chastisement of the day by Banihe, his own children. 
sons and daughters. And his wife and his brother. And the wife and the brother. And his nearest kindred who shelter him. And his whole family who sheltered him. Take them all, throw them in the hell. Save me, please. لو يفتدي من عذاب يوم إزم ببنيه وصاحبته وأخيه وفصيلته التي توغيه ومن في الأرض جميعا ثم ينجيه and whoever is on the earth entirely so then it could save him ومن في الأرض جميعا and all who are in this world take them all throw them in the hell First, please spare me. Please save me. This subject comes in the last part also. In Surah Abbas, Yawma yafirru maru min akhihi wa ummihi wa abihi wa sahibatihi wa banihi Every man will run away from his father, from his mother, from his son, from his wife. Everyone will be thinking about himself. Kalla in no, indeed it is the flame of hell. Kalla. Not, certainly not. Innaha lava. That hell is a flaming fire. Nazza'atan lishawa. A remover of exteriors. Nazza'atan lishawa. It snatches away. The scalp skin or the livers, two meanings of shava. It invites he who turned his back on truth and went away from obedience. This hell will call, come to me. Everyone who turns his back and he turns away and goes away. Not listening to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Today you are not listening to him. On that day, hell will call you and pull you towards itself. Man adbara wa tawalla who turn their faces and turn their backs. Wa jama'a fa awa and collected wealth and hoarded. Wa jama'a fa awa throughout their lives <coughs> they were busy. In amassing wealth and then withholding it. Indeed, mankind was created anxious. Verily, surely, man has been created impatient. When evil touches him, impatient. When evil touches him, he is moaning and groaning and weeping. And when good touches him, withholding of it. And when he has some good, some wealth, then he wants to act niggardly and miserly. Except the observers of prayer. From this character, only those are exceptions. Illa al musallin who perform their salah regularly. Those who are constant in their prayer. Who are very constant regarding their prayers. And those within whose wealth is a known right.
للسائل والمحروم. For the petitioner and the deprived. والذين في ظالم مقوم معلوم للسائل والمحروم. And those in whose wealth there is a right known for the beggar and the deprived. They don't think whatever Allah has given us, it is for our only use. No, they think that there is a share for the poor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has included in our wealth. And we have to give it away. لِسَائِ لِوَ الْمَحْرُومِ وَالَّذِينَ يُصَدِّقُونَ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينِ And those who believe in the day of recompense. وَالَّذِينَ يُصَدِّقُونَ بِيَوْمِ الدِّينِ And those who believe in the truth of the day of judgment. Day of recompense. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ And those who are fearful of the punishment of their Lord. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ And those who remain fearful of the chastisement of their Lord. إِنَّ عَذَابَ رَبِّهِمْ غَيْرُ مَأْمُونَ Indeed, the punishment of their Lord is not that from which one is safe. إِنَّ عَذَابَ رَبِّهِمْ غَيْرُ مَأْمُونَ Surely, from the chastisement of your Lord, none should feel secure. You should always be fearing it. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ And those who guard their private parts. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ These ayat are very similar to the ayat number 1 to 11 of Surah Al-Mu'minun. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ And those who guard their private parts. That is, they keep their chastity. إِلَّا عَلَىٰ أَزْوَاجِهِمْ أَوْ مَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُهُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ غَيْرُ مَلُومِينَ Except from their wives or those their right hands possess, for indeed they are not to be blamed. إِلَّا عَلَىٰ أَزْوَاجِهِمْ Except from their wives أَوْ مَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُهُمْ Or the concubines whom their right hands possess. فَإِنَّهُمْ غَيْرُ مَلُومِينَ For them, there is no blame. Sex is not even in itself. You know, if it's permissible, you are married, you have a wife, okay, you can have a sex. Nothing bad. So, but, for one... فَمَنِ ابْتَغَى وَرَاءَ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْعَادُونَ but whoever seeks beyond that, then they are the transgressors. But those who seek more beyond these, then they are the transgressors. They will be brought to the book. And those who are to their trusts and promises attentive, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِأَمَانَاتِهِمْ وَحَدِيمْ رَعَوُونَ And those who preserve their trust and their covenants. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِشَهَادَاتِهِمْ قَائِمُونَ And those who are in their testimonies upright. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِشَهَادَاتِهِمْ قَائِمُونَ And those who guard, who firmly stand by their testimonies. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَىٰ صَلَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ And those who carefully maintain their prayer. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَىٰ صَلَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ And those who guard their salah. No salah should go off. They have to be very regular in it. Now see the, all these qualities or characteristics begin with salah and with salah. Same was the case in Surah Al-Mu'minun. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنِ اللَّغْوِ مُورِدُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ إِلَّا عَلَىٰ أَزْوَاجِهِمْ وَمَا مَلَكَتْ عَبَانُهُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ غَيْرُ مَلُومِينَ فَمَنِ ابْتَغَى بَرَاءَ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْعَادُونَ 
والذين هم لاماناتهم وحدهم راعون والذين هم على صلواتهم يحافظون اولئك هم الوارثون الذين يرثون الفردوس هم فيها خالدون so these two places of quran they are very similar to each other but the most important point to note is that in among all these characteristics first and last at both the places places is salah as salat wa imadu din this is the central pillar of our deen ulaika fi jannatin mukramun they will be in gardens honored ulaika fi jannatin mukramun these people will be honored in the garden of paradise فَمَالِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا قِبَلَكَ مُهْطِعِينَ So what is the matter with those who disbelieve, hastening from before you, O Muhammad? فَمَالِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا قِبَلَكَ مُهْطِعِينَ Whenever the Prophet ﷺ stood in some public place to recite Quran, people ran to him from the right to the left to stop him. So that picture is given here. فما للذين كفروا قبلك مختعين. What has happened to these people, these disbelievers? They hasten to you. عن اليمين وعن الشمال عزين. To sit on your right and your left in separate groups. عن اليمين وعن الشمال عزين. From the right and from the left in bands, groups. أيطمع كل امرئ منهم أن يدخل جنة نعيم. Does every person among them aspire to enter a garden of pleasure? أيتما وكل مري منهم أن يدخل جنة. The Prophet ﷺ might have thought that they are coming towards the right path. They want to listen Quran. They are they are coming to me with good intentions, but no. أَيَتْمَعُ كُلُّ مْرَيْمٍ مِنْهُمَ يُدْخَلَ جَنَّةَ نَعِيمٍ Does every one of them wish that he should be entered into the garden of bliss? كَلَّا إِنَّا خَلَقْنَاهُمْ مِمَّا يَعْلَمُونَ No, indeed, we have created them from that which they know. كَلَّا Not at all, nothing doing. This is not their intention, but they want to stop you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Inna khalaqna hum mimma yalamun. We know, we we created them from what they know. They know that we created them from the drop of sperm. Fala uqsimu bi Rabbi al-Mashariq wal-Maghrib inna la qadiru. So I swear by the Lord of all risings and settings that indeed we are able. فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِرَبِّ الْمَشَارِقِ وَالْمَغَارِبِ إِنَّا لَقَادِرُونَ But nay, and I swear by the Lord of all the East and all the West that we are certainly able. عَلَىٰ أَن نُبَدِّلَ خَيْرًا مِّنْهُمْ وَمَا نَحْنُ بِمَسْبُوقِينَ To replace them with better than them, and we are not to be outdone. عَلَىٰ نُبَدِّلَ خَيْرًا مِّنْهُمْ To substitute others better than they. When they die, in their place, we can create, we can give new bodies to them. And maybe, maybe those, those better, bodies will be better than these bodies that they have in this world. And we are not to be defeated. Whatever we wish, we'll do. So leave them to converse vainly and amuse themselves until they meet their day which they are promised. فَذَرْهُمْ يَخُوذُ وَيَلْعَبُوهُ So, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, leave them for a while to plunge into meaningless task, meaningless talk, يَخُوذُ وَيَلْعَبُوهُ and play until they meet the day حَتَّى يُلَاقُوا يَوْمَهُمُ الَّذِي يُعَدُونَ until they meet the day which they have been promised. 
يوم يخرجون من الأجداث سراعا كأنهم إلى نصب يوفضون. The day they will emerge from the graves rapidly, as if they were toward an erected idol hastening. يوم يخرجون من الأجداث سراعا. When they will all come, come out from their graves hastily, running. As if they are racing to a goal post, as if when you are racing and you are competing with each other, in the same way these will come out from the graves and run. Their eyes humbled, humiliation will cover them. That is the day which they had been promised. Their looks will be downcast. And humiliation will cover them. Their faces will be showing the signs of humiliation. This is the day that day which they were promised that the day is to come, that is the day of Qiyabah.